of shiny Cosmo Armor Cosmog. This is true. All right. Looks like voting's gonna end soon. Snorlax is coming up close. He's at, he's got 12 votes. And Snorlax just barely won. Dude, rest in peace to the Dragalge guy. I'm sorry. Snorlax just barely won the vote. <laughs> Mr. House 95 saying, no, I want to use Snorlax now. <laughs> All right. So we're building a Snorlax team. Probably G-Max. Dragalge fans in shambles. True. True. Listen, anyone can rig the vote. Literally anyone in chat can rig the vote if they have enough points. It's that chaos that makes it hilarious. Okay, so if we're using Snorlax, its max move only refreshes its barrier, right? I forgot, does it, re does it replenish everyone's berry or just Snorlax's berry? Either way, I think we run Giga Impact. Uh, definitely gonna want to run Belly Drum. Um, does he get Brutal Swing? Big Fat Snorlax? I mean, technically that wouldn't be terrible versus Calyrex. Here, I'll, 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 I'll come to, um... I'll come to a, a resolution with you guys. There you go. His name is Dragalge. I mean, I think it's pretty hard to run anything other than, like, Figgy Berry. Alright, um... High horsepower seems like a given. The last move is where we kind of have to figure things out. I could try to run something a little crazy. I could try to run something a little crazy. What if... Hmm. What if we do explosion? This, you guys are going to hate me for this. Not explosion, self destruct. Not figgy berry, but custat berry. And we run, uh, let's run Incineroar 2 on this team. Let's go ahead and throw Incineroar 2 on this team. How's that sound? Arthur, thanks for gifting the subs. I'm running Custet Berry. I want my own Incineroar. I think I think I definitely want to run Zacian. That's just like a given. Um. Do I want P2? I don't think I want P2. What if I actually drop Zacian and I actually go Dialga? We now have a Trick Room mode and we also have Telepathy. You can try and DD because if you use Custap Berry and Psychic Train, you can get Follow Me. That's true. Kelly Ice, actually. The thing is, I want to be able to switch in. Dragalge or Dialga next to... Or not Dragalge. I want to be able to switch in Calyrex or Dialga next to it and not really worry. That's my thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go soft TR for now, and we'll see how it goes. Incineroar, Amoongus. Definitely need some more damage. I have enough support. I need something that hits hard. What's a good hard-hitting Trick Room Pokemon? Why not Palkia over Dialga? I just think Steel types are just goaded right now, and we we need it. <laughs> Alolawak, ho -oh, nah. Um, I can see Alolawak being useful at some point, but not on this team. 
Stag attacker? Uh, nah, 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 not stag attacker. I, I think a Raquinid might not be bad. A Raquinid might not be bad. What do you think? Do I have a Snorlax spread already? I don't. I have a Dialga spread though, I'm gonna steal that. There you are. Love me some Dialga. The only thing is this is fast Dialga. And it doesn't have Trick Room, so never mind, we're not using that spread. Uh, we're gonna put Trick Room here. I'm gonna run Life Orb. I think that is gonna be my set, but I have to run some defensive calcs. Uh, let's do... Actually, let's do policy. Yeah, I'm gonna do policy. I'm gonna make just a BS spread real quick. There you go. Super, super epic spread right there. Go quiet nature. Oh no, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Yeah, we'll just go life orb. Because I just realized I can't bulldoze. Sprigatito? Maybe. Maybe we'll run Sprigatito. Um, zero speed IV there. Let me steal a couple of spreads real quick. We definitely want the Insin, the ever important Insin spread that is on every team I've ever made ever. And the Amoongus spread that I've been using as of late that helps out with, um, where is it? That helps out with, uh, Gastrodon. Alright, Arachnid is a spread we actually have to make. And we also have to make a Snorlax spread. Uh, let me think. So, there's only a couple of calcs I really need to hit with my Snorlax. Let me think. So, Zacian. Let me just make sure I like one shot. Zacian, right? Just max HP Zacian, just worst case scenario, at plus five with high horsepower. Yes, we do. Okay, we're fine. We don't even need attack investment there. Um, as for explosion, KOing a Kyogre with self destruct at plus five would be very good. Yep, that will KO a Kyogre at plus five. <laughs> Uh, actually, we might be able to KO Dynamax Kyogre with some investment. That's kind of crazy. Okay, we are now KOing Dynamax Kyogre. Which means I can go Brave. Not Brave. Uh, relaxed. There's no bulk on the Ogre? Yeah, but I mean, a lot of Kyogre are still just running four. A lot of Kyogre are still just running four. So I don't really mind. Um, let me make sure I can tank one Max Geyser, and that's like all the special defense will run. We want that. We want, we want even HP. There we go. There we go. Go ahead. Perfect spread. Right there. And we need an Araquanid spread. Maybe, um, maybe I run Goggles on Araquanid. Do I do that? No, I think I go Mystic Water. I think I go Mystic Water for the damage. Or even Whiter, but Whiter might not be bad. Whiter might not be bad. Let me do some calcs.
Does Mystic Water KO even at minus one? It does not. However, if I'm not at minus one and I don't have Mystic Water, does that KO? It does, so I'm going to do that. What you building? Uh, I'm building in uh, a uh, a Dragalgy team. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I think. This is just fine. Can I take a Thunder from Kyogre? That's actually not a bad benchmark to hit. I'd like to take t uh, less from ha less than half from that. Uh, 252, four. Does that let me take less than half? Not quite. So let's decrease defense a bit. Let's just make sure we're taking less than half from that. And thunder. I'm just absolutely eating a thunder. And Max Geyser can one-shot Kyogre in return with the spread, so. Um, and that's a two-shot on Dynamax Kyogre, which is actually pretty crazy in the rain. What was that? 28? There we go. What does Zacian do versus us? Zacian. Beamoth Blade. Um, yeah, I can live with that. This looks pretty good. Let's go with uh, Liquidation. Wide Guard. Um, do I want Icy Wind? Icy Wind's probably kind of bad. What if I go Safeguard? Nah. I feel like there's like an interesting move that people always overlook in Araquanid. The only matchup that looks scary is Gastro Groudon plus Gastro. Nah, we'll be fine. I got Seed Bomb on the, on the Amoongus. Is Soak useful at all? Not really. I wish Araquanid had got Bug Buzz, but it doesn't. That's so annoying. Oh, not Bug Buzz. Why am I thinking? Struggle Bug. If it got Struggle Bug, that'd be so huge. Okay. Yeah, let's just run, like, standard stuff. We'll go Leech Life. And... Why not? Let's throw an Infestation for the memes. It'd be fun just to lock something in with it. Let's do it. Let's let's uh let's hit the ladder. Let me log out of the Route One podcast, and we'll go into the alt. Poggy physicist. Oh wait, no. Let's go to Silky Baritone. That's that's more mid ladder. All right. It looks like I have time for about twenty minutes worth of games. So let's do this. Let me uh, review the team for anyone. Who is just now tuning in. What we built here is a Custat Berry Snorlax team, but we're going to call it Dragalgy instead. Because Dragalgy was something some, someone wanted me to use. Uh, we got Gluttony, Custat Berry, Giga Impact, Self Destruct, High Horsepower, Belly Drum. Uh, we have a uh, Calyrex Shadow, Defensive, also known as Incineroar 2. A lot of people slept on it until it carried three games. Uh, we have Life Orb Dialga with Trick Room, Earth Power, Roar Time, and Flash Cannon. Uh, we have a Safety Goggles Incineroar. We have Focus Sash, Amoongus with C-Bomb, Rage Powder, Protect, and Spore. And we have a White Herb Araquanid with Liquidation, Wide Guard, Leech Life, and Infestation, because I think it'd be funny. Let's see what we can do. Dragalgy 4. There we go. Okay, uh, so what's interesting about this is they likely don't have an answer for me just leading off in Sinor and Dragalgy and then bring in these guys. So we're going to do that. We're going to do exactly that.
In Cinechad, not living truly sad. Yes, you are right. Something that I did just realize is we can refresh our Custat Berry over and over again with this set. And I didn't realize that. Guys, it's Cybetron VGC1. I'm you biggest fan, Cy... I'm you biggest fan, Cybetron VGC1. I'm you biggest fan. But I'm not. Are you Moxie boosted? This has got to be Moxie boosted, right? This has got to be Moxie boosted. I asked if they were a wolf Glock. <laughs> or a wolf Glock. <laughs> Are you Moxie boosted or wolf Glock? Okay. Uh, they let off with this. Mm. I probably just lose. Let's go for it. Why not? Target the Incineroar with a max max rockfall. You know you wanna. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. I, I, I didn't want to win anyways. I, I, th I thought winning was dumb. Alright, defensive Calyrex, do your thing. You self-destruct for the entertainment? I could've. I could've. Winning is stupid? Dude, that's why we went with the self-destruct incinerator, obviously. Watch us tank this hit. Oh, yo? Word? Miss? Nah, he, yeah, that's, that's fine. That's fine. I didn't, I didn't want to win. I, I didn't want to win anyways, truth be told. Um, I could Dynamax and live this, but I, I don't... Winning stupid, as, you, as a wise man once told me. I get more out of a Snarl plus a Warm Wind. I figured it out. You're calling higher. <laughs> That's because it was calling higher, dude. All right. Um, can I even pull this off? I honestly like as soon as I locked in the Custetberry Snorlax, I, I I knew that I wasn't gonna win, but I had to do it. I had to do it simply. It was it was as as a point of honor. I had to do it. Uh, I should probably just throw a Grimstar on this team. It would help out quite a bit. Maybe over the maybe over the Incineroar. Let's do this. Okay, this is doable actually. I have to win the fake out war. Actually, no. I should always fake out the whimsy cut. Nice. Okay, check this out. Never gonna see it coming. We're gonna go for the G Max replenish and the flare blitz. Sorry, buddy. I went first. Give me, give me another berry. We got our custom berry back. We got our custom berry back. <laughs> okay, no, I think we win. I just don't see how he does it. I, I truly do not see how he does it. The next turn also goes first, my good sir. 
Max Quake? Yes, please. Parting shot? I suppose. Actually, do we just target the Kyogre? I think we target the Kyogre. Oh, yes, sir. Give me another one. Dang it. That's fine. We win. We win. Check it out. Fake out. Will-O-Wisp. That's game. Actually, fake out. Substitute. That's game. There we go. Parting shot. Will-O-Wisp. That's game. Sorry, uh, listen, Incineroar 2 is just a little too broken. Incineroar 2 is just a little bit too broken in that way. Truth be told, if Snorlax with a Custet Berry is super scary, because if you go for the G Max, there's like, it's literally like a 50 50 to win each turn. If you just get the berry back, it's 50% it's chance to get the berry. And then you just pick up KOs. So if your opponent leads off passively, you should always go with that. Let's do it again, just just for science, just to just to prove a point. Just to prove a point there. Let's see if we can do it. It's not scary if you have a Calyrex. You just max quake it, max quake it. You only need the first berry. Oh, you're right, you can't eat the Custet versus Calyrex. Dang, that's a little cringe. That's a little cringe. Alright, um... So, an intelligent man would fake out the Regieleki. But a Moxie boosted will fake out the Kyogre. That's okay. That's okay, that's okay. Uh, I think I'm just going to Dynamax here. Go for the Max Quack. And attempt a Parting Shot. Q VGC, how you doing? Eerie Impulse. Uh, honestly, I did this more for the defensive bonus, so I'm kind of fine with that. East Sash. Uh, I still got my special defense boost. I got my parting shot off. I'm going to go for a Snarl here and another Max Quake. But I think we're just going to Max Quake the Kyogre. He might just Eerie Impulse me again, which I'm kind of cool with. He electrowebs, he connects. Probably gonna lose the, the Incineroar 2. We've lost the Incineroar 2 and we've and we've and we lost the match. On Fortnite. On Fortnite. The battle pass has failed us. Um I mean fake out will KO the Reggie Lucky. Let's see if we just luck out here and get a crit. No crit. Thunder Para, though. It's pretty good luck. Venusaur. Uh, I can go for a Trick Room here and attempt to Snarl, and hopefully they'll just completely miss their next move, even though they probably won't. Where's the Ice Beam? This isn't unwinnable, funny enough. Kyogre goes down at the end of the turn next turn, so I just Flash Cannon to try to get a Defense Boost. <laughs> wait, this is Fortnite now? Always was. Oh wait, I don't get a defense boost from Flash Cannon. Why am I stupid? Alright. Peep this crit. Peep this epic crit. My opponent was in fact cracked at Fortnite, yeah. GG. Alright, let's try to do one more funny. This was never about winning. 
The Snorlax team was never about winning anyways. Let's do one more funny. Uh, if there's a team we can get away with it, it's it's this one. It's this one. And we actually lead off in, uh, we lead off with Incineroar 2 rather than the original Incineroar. And we're gonna bring Dialga. Alright. Oh, come on. This is actually a pretty favorable matchup for me. Please come back. Come on. Y'all, y'all do y'all would y'all would you all would have please come back please come back you all would have ranking of 14 10 there's no way you're just gonna throw that away here right no you're just gonna throw that out the window you all would have y you all would have come back right oh yeah sorry it's a dragology team Okay, I don't think they're coming back. And... Three points! Bad internet, maybe? Yeah, it's possible. Let me get one more game, though. I want to do one more funny, and that was actually, like, a very good team to do the funny with. Can I get away with the funny here? Um, not likely. Let's lead off Incineroar 2 in Dragalge and see what we can do. I'll see what I can do. Okay. I'll, I'll see what's possible. I'll see what's popsicle. What's your opinions on this team so far? I think it's trash, but I think it's fun. It's like the type of trash that I don't mind using. Oh, they let off pass. Dude, what if they're also Explosion? Imagine. What if they're also Explosion? Uh, let me go for... Does this thing get Belly Drum? They wouldn't explode on me here. I'm gonna Belly Drum here. And I'm gonna attempt to substitute. Oh, they're Belly Drum Explosion. They're totally Belly Drum Explosion. Alright, joke's on you. I'm not letting you do it. I'm, I'm just not letting you do it. Let me snarl here. I wish I could send in the Wide Guard Araquanid and do it next turn. I truly do. I wish I could Dynamax here. I'm sorry, Licky Licky's gone. I'm sorry, he's gone. Never existed. Vanished from the earth. Get in the Dialga, we win. Incineroar 2's behind a substitute, it's over. Oh yeah, it's totally over. Let me Snarl and just Max Quake you like a million times. Oh, wait. Actually, let me uh, Max Quake and Will-O-Wisp, because you're probably weakness policy. You're probably weakness policy, so I'm going to do that. Nice. You know, I changed my mind. We'll do one more. We'll do one more. That le leaving that opponent leaving so early left me in a bad mood. I want to do one more. Is there a chance you could play in Sinora 2 at Milwaukee Regionals? Maybe. If I can build... Oh, dude, it's him! No, it's not, but it's it's a similarly passive team. It's the exact same team, actually. Let's see what we can do. Sizzle and Snom. Did they just change their name? Did they, like, switch to an alt account? Is this not the exact same team we were just facing? Ah, dang it, they let off Incineroar. Or, they let off Venusaur. Um, I'm confident this is going to work out. 
You might not be, but that's because you're a hater. They're going to go for Incineroar 2, and I'm going to live it. what I tell you? And now, I will o wisp that. They go for the Prestos Blades. They miss. Everything has gone right. Everything has gone right for us, and they have no clue. They have no idea just how right things have gone for us. Let me send in the Dialga, and I'm going to go for the G-Max Replenish on the Venusaur, and I'm going to go for the Trick Room. They have no idea just how right this has gone. Unless they send in Lunala, this has not gone wrong. But also, they're not Life Orb, so they could be Sash, and I could just lose. <laughs> that's 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 the main issue here. Please be Koba. All right, they're Koba. They miss me again. I'm sorry, sir. Everything has gone right. When things go right, they cannot go wrong. Murphy's Law, I think. I don't know. I never read it. I never read Murphy. Uh, let's go for the <laughs> Max Replenish onto the Incineroar and send our own Incineroar. This will KO. Give me my berry back. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. There's Tapu Finny. I'm sorry, Tapu Finny. I'm sorry. You just came into all your friends being dead. My bad. But yeah, overall, this was a fun team. This was a fun team. Let me know if you guys want it. I wouldn't call it super viable, but I would call it super fun. On the on the five, if if zero was a fun and ten was a viable, this would be like a five. It's it's right in the middle. This is a five on on the on the zero to fun gradient. Or on the on the fun to viable gradient. But yeah. You need to tell me Murphy is not respected in the physics community? Dude, I don't remember. If something can go wrong, it will go wrong, but everything went right. We did the inverse of Murphy's Law. <laughs> but yeah. Let me know. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, let me know what you all think about this, uh, about this team in the comment section down below, and leave a like if you enjoyed. But I'll see you guys in the next one.